is known as the toughest man in the world. Presenting Andrew the Brick Wall Sosa. What is up, my friends? How y'all doing? This is your boy Sosa Pones. I'm going to keep this really short, sweet, and to the point. Hopefully, y'all are doing well today. I'm not exactly sure what to think about this movie because there are some pros and there are some cons. But I'm leaning a little bit more towards the con thing. Let me explain to you real quick. Not even going to do the normal intro. I'm just going to get right to the point with y'all. So hopefully y'all appreciate that. This movie was good for most of the movie. I liked it for most of the movie. Stellar cast in my opinion. It was cool getting to see Keith Jardine right here. ex UFC fighter. I always love it whenever he makes his little Hollywood intros right there. He, he was a little bit hard to tell. But Gerard Butler... He's good. I like him. I don't know why his movies don't do good. Now, I kind of do know why his movies don't do good. Looper has done some pretty good work whenever it comes to researching why. He's a good actor, but he seems to get roles that people just don't appreciate him in. Or the movies surrounding him just doesn't seem to do him very good justice. And I understand, he's been handed some crap scripts before. But... I'd say he's one of those people who is like a cult classic. Like, Shawshank Redemption, like, didn't do well at the box office at all, but it's become a cult classic. And I think that he is basically a family cult classic kind of actor. But for some strange reason, guys, and maybe you could tell me why, what y'all's opinions are, he his movies don't seem to do that well at the box office. And Hollywood has seemed to have lost faith in him a little bit. And... I gotta be honest, guys. I don't think Hollywood is going to put that much much faith in him when this comes out either. Because I, I gotta tell you, this movie had some good parts in it. Uh, Toby Huss, like light spoilers in this, guys. Light spoilers. Light spoilers. I promise you I'm not going to ruin the movie for you. But he plays a little bit of a psychopathic hitman. And he does freaking awesome. I love his portrayal. His psychopathic trail. They even have a little joke going on about what psychopaths are and everything like that. He does great. He's not in it for that long. He doesn't have that many great scripts, but I love it. Also, Mr. Frank Grillo. Mr. Teddy. He's awesome. I love him as an actor. He looks like a real man. Now, knowing what a prolific Hollywood actor he is. In fact, I've probably seen a tweet or two of his. I know he isn't a real man. He's probably some sort of Libby tard. But, you know, he still looks really good. And I like that he actually represents something, you know, opposition to all these soy boys that we have running around here. And what China basically just banned in, in Hollywood. They're not going to allow any sissy men to be a big part of the screen. So Hollywood is messed up. But he actually is a masking guy. And he's a good actor. I like it. He's a great actor. He's a good actor in here, too. I like him. In other movies that he's done, like he's done some war movies on Netflix. And he's good. I like him. And he, he turns into a stellar role right here. We have Alexis Louder, who is one of the cops. The movie starts out with uh, basically police brutality, but because she's the one doing it right here, she is a black woman and on the police force, and she is super skinny. She would never be on the police force. Ever. I mean, theoretically, she could be, and especially with how things are going now in the current cop administrations, maybe she would. But, like, no. not in, And she doesn't have any business being on there. But it seems like she's put on there just for woke points. I don't know. This movie doesn't come off across as necessarily woke. I mean, you could argue that it, it could, and I wouldn't disagree with you. But there is an evil black lady, DA, and she gets killed in the end. So I'm just like, well, that kind of goes against the whole narrative. But I, I don't know. She just doesn't belong in that role. And she is confusing as all get out. And I'm not exactly sure what to make of her character. I just like, uh, she it's like she was shoehorned in there. But basically, there is the feud between drug dealers and cops. And there is another cop who is trying to get these drugs away from the evidence and back to the drug dealers and there's a corrupt DA involved and his job is to take her out who's the black lady that I talked about before and he is Mr. Frank Grio Teddy has been stealing everything from the cops the government and the dealers so he is really messed over and she is caught in the middle of it and trying to play the hero and over and over again she keeps on getting and she's getting shot and everything and good if you want to be a hero but she keeps on making bad decisions you know and the movie 
openly says that, but she ends up taking, you know, Frank's side at first, Mr. Teddy, and then whenever he backstabs her, like, she takes Vidic's side and she's saved. And, like, uh, the suspension of reality whenever it comes to this movie is really too bad. Like, there's a scene where it's supposed to be this heavy, dramatic tension whenever Frank is escaping and then it cuts to her and they have a shootout but not before having dialogue first she planned on shooting him to begin with but they have to have this dramatic dialogue first so that he's actually able to escape or at least potentially be able to escape it's just no you would have just taken him out right then and there after he stabbed you in the back he literally stabbed you in the back i oh I don't get it like it's just it's stupid it's stupid the dialogue and everything is good the chemistry between everyone is fine like it's nothing great it's nothing horrible either i there's like two special effects scenes like you've had over a year with covid in order to be able to fix this like what what are you doing like <laughs> uh and the, there's one scene with fire that is just trum just ugh, gross and there was this one scene where they were shooting the mirrors. This one guy was trying to shoot at somebody and they ended up hitting mirrors in the bathroom. And the mirrors would explode a second too late. And it was like, oh, that's horrible. Like, you've had all this time to fix it. What? Because you didn't want to spend an extra couple thousand on production and be able to make this a good movie? Why? Like, that makes no sense to me. Maybe Hollywood knows something that I don't. But that that was a problem too. But I like the idea of the movie and everything goes actually pretty good up until the end. The end is where you lose everything. And I asked other people there. I didn't miss anything. What basically happens is, is like she starts to chase him, Gerard Butler, because she wants to be the hero. And they seem to have like a telepathic link to each other. She wants to be the hero and he's the bad guy. Even though she he has spared her life, saved her life like three separate times but she's still gonna go after him because he's a bad guy and working for the dealers and they both play this song at the end at the same time and they're both singing along at the same time as if they like each other and are connected somehow but then the movie cuts away without while she has like bullet wounds in her still and hasn't gotten the proper treatment except for a little bit of nurse attention in the ambulance that she basically commandeers and it shows her going after him and then cuts away, and that's the end of the movie. You're left feeling so confused, and you're like, what the F? You're like, what is what What was that for? It, it seems so pointless. You had a good amount of drama. You had a good amount of story. You had a good amount of action, wondering what was going to happen, all basically to be let down at the end. Now, I'm not saying it wasn't entertaining. I'm not saying I regret seeing this. I'm not. But I want to know what the F happened and why certain things happened. And it feels like such a giant letdown. And I absolutely hate it. I liked a lot of the characters and the interactions. But no, you get so let down at the end. And I'm like, well, what do I do now? And there's also this one scene where uh, Mr. Gerard Butler, Vidic, he gets, he gets supposedly shot. And it looks really convincing. And then he ends up appearing out of nowhere to take out the corrupt black lady DA and save this uh, Mr. Alexis uh, Louder Valerie Young. And it doesn't show any other wounds. Like he was for sure shot, but maybe he was shot in his arm. Maybe he was shot in his side and made it look like he was dead really convincingly, even though it would have, no one would ever believe that. But we're, that's what we're supposed to believe. But it doesn't ever show the wounds. It just... He, he's really good hitman and we were just supposed to expect that he was really good at faking it and you know accept it without showing any how did it happen why did it happen how was he able to be so cool but no we don't get any of that so i'm like oh my god you can't do that to us like you it's like literally this movie feels like someone saying hey i'm going to tell you something really important but you can't you got to promise you can't tell anyone else okay i'm listening no never mind that's what this movie feels like. You're like, I, and it, like this other person was, before the story was feeding you juicy tidbits, but then backtracks and decides not to tell you the the ending of the story or anything about the story at all. That's what it feels like. And I freaking hate when people do that to me. And that's what this movie feels like. Like, oh, so 
I could actually recommend you go and see it because it actually has some humor and the actors are really good. The acting is good. Like you're going to get that and it's like up and entertaining up until the end. So if you're not the type of person who wants to be let down or can't just have a, go and have a good time, you know, without some sort of big purpose behind the movie, then don't go and see it. But there are some people who are going to enjoy it. I don't regret seeing it. I just wish that I could have gotten more. It could have been so great, but the potential was squandered, and that's the problem, I feel. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Go and see it if you want to. If you don't want to see it, I don't blame you for that one either. If you have any specific questions, I'll happily answer them in the comments too. I'll be interacting with everyone as well, but that's my thoughts on the movie. So, maybe I can actually convince you to go see it if you actually have some uh, questions and details that I didn't cover in here, and I can help you out with that, because I don't want these movies not to succeed. I want Gerard Butler to go, do good. I want Frank Grillo to do good. But I don't know. I want movies to do good. I want Hollywood to come back with you tearing up the scene because I want this stupid coof thing and mass mandates and error. I want this hysteria to end and life to get back to normal. And this isn't going to help that case either. So I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you all guys. But that, those are my thoughts on the movie. And I can't wait to see what y'all have to say and what y'all my interactions will be with you based on that. So, like I said before a million times, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and select all features so you can see all my future content. Smash that thumbs up like button, share this around with everybody that you know. Leave a comment support the messed up YouTube algorithm. Whether it's a smiley face, emoticons, algorithm comment, you can literally uh, put that. And consider joining my memberships. Like, if I was to be able to get even the lowest patronage, like $1 a month from everybody, I'd be able to do these videos full time. And I wouldn't be able to bring y'all, I would be able to bring y'all even better quality content. If you don't want to join memberships, there's other stuff in the link in the description in the first comment too of other options like Cash App, one time donations, PayPal, Venmo, all that good stuff. So please consider doing that. Follow me on all my social media platforms too, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Links to that in the description and first comment as well. Check out the rest of my channel. There should be some video tabs popping up right now on the screen or in a few seconds of other things that I think y'all will enjoy seeing. But yeah, that's basically it. Check out the rest of my channel too if none of those tickle your fancy. And that's basically I'm I'm done ranting. I'll see y'all later. Peace out, my friends. Y'all have a wonderful rest of the day.